so I am back to film my labor and delivery story um, I'm gonna start from the beginning if you've been watching and been following my pregnancy journey you would know that I intended to have a water birth at a birth center um, near where I live at that did not go as planned <music> It all started, I started having contractions September 23rd. Um, the contractions started and they weren't consistent at first. And then at about, I would say, 1 in the morning, they got really intense. They were about 5 minutes apart. And that was my first trip to triage, like my first real trip to triage. I thought I was in labor. I was 37 weeks and two, no, I was 36 weeks and six days at this point. Um, the contractions didn't go anywhere, so they sent me home. I was at that time told that I was um, four centimeters dilated. So then on the 24th, I had my doctor's appointment. I went in, normal doctor's appointment, um, any concerns or anything. My main concern was that I was still having the contractions on and off, um, which wasn't really a concern at all. So uh, my doctor checked me. I was still at four centimeters, but when he checked me this time, he said that he could actually feel her head. Her head was like literally right there. So he was like wondering why I was even still pregnant at this point so he asked me did I want to do a membrane sweep and I happily accepted and um I don't know the feel of the membrane sweep wasn't as bad as it was with my son with my son that was my first time having it done now again it did hurt um some moms say it doesn't hurt I guess it depends on maybe the size of the hands or something but to me it hurt it just didn't hurt as bad as it did with uh, my son so I had the membrane sweep and I started to lose a lot of my mucus plug and then like all throughout the day I started to lose mucus plug and um but and I started to have contractions like a little bit after it I would say probably like two hours after I started to have contractions but those contractions subsided um they didn't pick back up or anything like that so then the next day I got up, me and my son, I took him to the park. Uh, we went walking around our mall and um, we walked to the store too. I live, um, I live like maybe five minutes walking distance from Walmart. So we walked to Walmart and walked around Walmart and I think I bought a couple of things. And um, yeah, so we did that still no contractions I would have them like I say probably once every hour or so so they weren't consistent and they were not hurting I felt my belly tighten up which I knew that's how I knew I had a contraction some of them did hurt at times but for the most part they were not hurting all right so now to the big day I went to sleep that night and about 11 30 I started having contractions they weren't close together they were more like more stronger i would say they didn't like have me bent over or anything like that they were more stronger but they weren't close together so that was about eleven thirty that night so i was able to fall asleep and then i woke back up um 
about 2.45 in the morning, the contractions woke me up. Um, so I laid in bed. I didn't get up and try to walk them, walk, walk it, like, to continue to make the contractions come on even more. Um, I felt like at that point, if they were real contractions by me just laying there, that they were going to keep going. Um, and, and they did. So I laid there until about three something. And then I started timing them. They got to, uh, they were from 13 minutes. Then they went to 10 minutes. Then they uh, fluctuated from eight minutes to 10 minutes, eight minutes to 10 minutes. And then I think one of them dropped down to seven minutes and then they went back up to eight to 10. And at this point they were getting like really, really stronger. So I would say it's probably about four, no, about 3.45 going on four o'clock in the morning. I text the kid's dad and was like, hey, you know, I'm starting to hurt a little bit more. And he's like, okay, are you ready to go to the hospital? And I'm like, well, um, no, not yet. I'm still able to handle them. They just hurt more. Um, plus the hospital wants you to be like five minutes apart. So he's like, text me or call me when you're ready and I'll be on my way to come and get you. He's at work. So, um, I waited out, I waited out about 4.50, yeah, about 4.50 hits. They're like even stronger, like even stronger. So I, um, I was still holding my ground and then at 5.25, is when I called him and I said, look, I can't handle the pain anymore. They hurt. I was crying. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I was crying. Um, and I said, I'm, I'm ready to go. Like, I'm ready to go to the hospital. And he's like, okay, um, I'm on my way. So at this point, I'm like bent over, you guys. I'm on the floor and I'm like kind of like dry heaving. And my son is like trying to rub my back and he was just, he was amazing. Mind you, he's only three. He was such, just amazing. So, um, I get up, I have, I had to use the bathroom. So I like crawl to the bathroom because the contractions, I don't know how close together they were at this point because they were coming. They weren't, I wouldn't say they were like two minutes apart or anything like that, but they were coming. So I go use the bathroom and then I, as I sit on the toilet, I have another contraction. And let me tell you, just in my opinion, contractions sitting on the toilet are way like 10 times worse. It's like you, I don't know, it's like you're all open down there and it's, oh my God, it gives the gravity so much more to pull down on or something. But um, I have a contraction while I'm sitting on the toilet. That hurts me like crazy. So I immediately get up and... Um, get off the toilet, I stand up, and then I feel like a trickle. And I'm like, oh my God, did I just pee on myself? And then um, at that point, my daughter wakes up, and as she wakes up and starts walking over towards me, my water breaks, whoosh. Like, I mean, I'm talking like, whoosh. And she's like, oh my God, mommy, I think your water just broke. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God. So I immediately call their dad back. I'm like, you got to hurry up. My water just broke. My water just broke. He's like, I'm 15 minutes away. So I'm like, okay. So um, I hang up with him. I call my sister and I ask my sister to come over to my house to tend to my kids because at this point my water broke. So she's like, I'm on my way. As I'm on the phone with her, um, I have the hugest contraction ever. So I just immediately, I had to get off the phone with her. My, my daughter got on the phone with her. And then um, I don't know how long they were on the phone. They hung up and then my friend called. And um, my friend is like coaching my daughter, uh, telling me to just breathe through it and everything like that. At this time, it is about 6.04 in the morning. Um, all of a sudden the contractions were like, boom, boom, boom. And they were hitting me. And then I like, I knew that she was coming. Um, so I immediately climbed into my tub and I'm like, call 911. She's coming. Like I could feel her, like the pressure and all of that. And then I got the urge to push and, um, 
I, the first time I pushed, I the bag the bag of water like kind of came out, so I felt the bag bulging, and then I had another contraction and the urge to push, and the bag bust, and then another contraction came on, so I pushed again, and her head came out, and my daughter my daughter witnessed it. She was like, "Oh, mommy, I see her head!" Like so. Um. I had another contraction and another urge to push and it was like an uncontrollable urge to push and um that that contraction hit and that urge to push came and I pushed and I caught her she did not hit hit anything she didn't hurt herself I caught her um I brought her up to my chest I put her on my chest and she wasn't crying when she was born I rubbed her like rubbed away from her nose and I rubbed her back and she started crying and it was just the most beautiful, like beautiful thing. And then my son walks up and he's like, oh, hi, baby. And that just made the moment even more special. <laughs> um, yeah, so right after she was born, um, their dad showed up and called the ambulance as well. My friend called and the ambulance before and he called and they're like we got a call for that um the ambulance came they cut the cord um they rushed rushed us to the nearby hospital and um i delivered where i delivered the placenta delivering the placenta was like much worse than having the baby i gotta tell you because it was like it wasn't detaching all the way by itself or I guess in the matter of time that they wanted it to detach, it wasn't detaching like that. So he like was like pulling on it and like kind of like rubbing and trying to scrape it away and it, it hurt. And then I had to deal with the aftermath pain of them coming in, pressing on my uh, uterus so it didn't fill up with blood and stuff. Um, yeah, but it was just amazing like it, it was crazy amazing so whew, i had my baby at home but i got the natural birth that i wanted which was totally amazing it's a story that i'll never 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 ever forget um and i got to experience it with my babies so they were there to experience it and it's something that i know that they won't forget um I don't know everybody has different opinions about their child being there while you know giving birth and I I'm one of those moms that was like you know babies kids shouldn't experience that they did not see anything like you know down there she seen the head and that was it I mean I wasn't like laid back legs cocked open or anything like that <laughs> um, but yeah so that is my labor and delivery story you guys and she's here. Here's little mama. She was 6'7". And she dropped down to 6'1". And there her ears. There my baby. Miss Talia. My tink bug. <laughs> Head full of hair. <laughs> and I'm so, so proud. Like, so proud of myself. But... Yeah, so thanks for watching. Bye, guys.